we're trying out different angles from the video screen. Okay. Woo, I got a cool shout back here. I can't do pup. Is that, is that how you do it? I don't know. Do you do like that? How do you do these things? I don't know. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is part two of my August book haul. We're going to jump right in. Um, this is Confessions of a Mask by Yukio Mishima. I have been wanting to... I've been wanting this book for the longest time. Um, it's been like sitting on my to buy lists in the ether of the internet forever. And um, I finally found it in the store. Uh, yeah, and it is, let me just read the back. So it says, one of the classics of modern Japanese fiction and is the story of an adolescent who must learn to live with the painful fact that he is unlike other young men. Mishima's protagonist discovers that he is becoming a homosexual in a polite post-war Japan. To survive, he must live behind a mask of propriety propriety <laughs> not propriety not propriety but propriety um so yeah if you've read this let me know next this is a really exciting book this is the garden party by Catherine mansfield but not only is this just some version of the garden party this edition the cover of this edition was designed by the wonderful Holly Dunn, whose channel I will link down below but she she's a booktuber and also obviously a uh, book cover designer and she designed this book cover and it is so pretty uh it is just gorgeous so i had when she announced that she did this i had to pre-order this thing and it finally came out um anyway so i've never read Catherine mansfield before um and i've always been interested i know she was um, a rival of virginia wolf I love in the back of Virginia, it's a, there's a blurb from her, from Virginia Woolf, that says, I was jealous of her writing, the only writing I have ever been jealous of. But I've heard lots of, you know, you know, I've heard that she's a wonderful writer, so um, this is, and I've also heard that this is a great place to start with Catherine Mansfield's writing. So I will um, let you know what I think about this one um, as soon as I finish it. But that is The Garden Party. Okay, these next two books I am, I got because I have been slowly collecting all of the Hogarth Shakespeare series of the whole Hogarth Shakespeare books. These are famous authors that have been asked to rewrite Shakespeare plays. Um, and so the first one I ever received was a Jeanette Winterson called The Gap of Time. And so it is based off of The Winter's Tale. And so I went ahead and got a copy of this beautiful Oxford edition of The Winter's Tale by Shakespeare. So I want to read these plays, study them, and then read the uh, book that goes along with it. So I got Winter's Tale and then... I have The Merchant of Venice because, um, oh, what's his name? Shalak is my name, is the, is the, is the book. And I can't remember, I can't think of the author's name right now, but I will go ahead and put him right here. So that is the book that I want to buy. I haven't got it yet, but that's going to be my next one after, um, Jeanette's book. So speaking of Jeanette Winterson, um, you all know that I read Sexing the Cherry during, um, the Booktubeathon. So I got her first book after... Uh, so she, the first book she ever wrote was um, Orange is Not the Only Fruit. And then after that, she published The Passion. Uh, so I finally got this book. So yeah, I will let you know. I want to read this really soon. Um, oh gosh, you can tell that after every book I talk about, I say I want to read soon. But it's true. I literally want to read all of these books like right now. So you know what would be a good topic to discuss in the comments? How do you choose the next book that you are going to read? I want to know that. Um, I, I once had a, a jar, you know, TBR jars where you, uh, write your, the titles of the books that you have on little pieces of paper, you fold them up and you put them in a jar and then, you know, you go in and you pick one out and then you read that book. But I discovered that I would pick a, a title out and then I go, no, I don't want to read that yet. And then I'd pick another one. No, I'm not feeling that one. And so what was the point of that thing? So, um, you know, what do you, how do you guys go about choosing the next book that you're going to read? I, you know, I'd love to know, but so that's the passion. Then I finally found this book. Ah, oh, this is a poetry collection called Crow by Ted Hughes. Now this edition is so cool. I have, I've never seen this edition. And I want to say it's a first edition. I can't, it's, I think it's a first edition paperback. Um, so that is this. Check that out. Oh my gosh. And look at this guy. There's Ted Hughes back there. Um, this is definitely not the version that you see. Uh, when you look up the crow um but i but i know the first edition is this uh, obviously hardcover but i'm pretty sure this is the first edition paperback that was 
released in, I mean, it's in amazing condition. Um, what year was this published? 1971. So this is really cool. This next book I found or I saw on the wonderful Mercedes um, for Mercy's Bookish Musings. Say that three times fast. Mercy's Bookish Musings. Mercy's Bookish Musings. Mercy's Bookish Musings. This is... Oh, good job, Jeremy. Way to be prepared. Oh, great. All right, well, I'll work on that later. Look what I did. Um, this is The Ladies of Grace and You and Other Stories by Susanna Clark, who wrote Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, which I have not read. Um, I used to have it, but then I got rid of it because I never got around to reading it. Um, so I think that these are fairy tales. It says it's about petulant princesses, vengeful owls, ladies who pass their time in embroidering terrible fates, endless paths in deep, dark woods, and houses that never appear the same way twice. So this sounded absolutely fabulous, so I had to pick this guy up. Um, yeah. All right, I've got some more books left. You know what? Let's just do it. We'll go real fast. I thought about maybe making this into three parts, but you know what? We're not going to. We're gonna go right into this next part. We're just gonna go straight through these. Um, this is Crooked Letter, Crooked Letter by Tom Franklin. Um, so I heard about this on Book Riot first, and then the lovely Elizabeth Schubert talked about this book as well, and I will link the video where she discusses this book um, down below. Um, yeah, so this is Crooked Letter, Crooked Letter. Um, yeah. <sighs> I don't know what it's about. Read it. Next is a book that is set in Hawaii, and I've never read a book set in Hawaii. So that's this one, Molokai. Molokai, is that right? By Ellen Brennert. Brennert. Ellen Brennert. Let's see, this is set in Hawaii more than a century ago. An extraordinary epic of a little known time and place and a deeply moving testament to the resiliency of the human spirit. I love that I always read those um, first little bits of text that really have nothing to do with the plot. And you really don't care, don't you guys? You, know, you guys don't care. Um, Rachel Kalama, a spirited seven-year-old Hawaiian girl, dreams of visiting far-off lands like her father, a merchant seaman. Then one day, a rose-colored mark appears on her skin, and those dreams are stolen from her. Taken from her home and family, Rachel is sent to Kalu Kalaupapa, the quarantined leprosy settlement on the island of Molokai. Here, her life is supposed to end, but instead, she discovers it is only just the beginning. Um, I apologize if, you know, I totally just butchered those pronunciations, so I'm sorry. Uh, but that is this one. This sounded really, really, really interesting to me. I feel bad that I didn't really talk about this book, so I'm just going to read the back. Um, so here we go. Uh, in the 1970s, Larry Ott and Silas, 32 Jones, were boyhood pals in their small town of rural Mississippi. Their worlds were as different as night and day. Larry was the child of lower middle class white parents and Silas the son of a poor black single mother. But then Larry took a girl to a drive-in movie and she was never seen or heard from again. And then 20 years later, Larry lives a solitary shunned existence. So I guess Silas and Larry get back, um, confront each other. So yeah, sounds really, really cool. I've heard good things. Oh yes, next I'm super excited is Bad Feminist by Roxanne Gay. These are um, essays about feminism by the fabulous Roxanne Gay, who is amazing. I read An Untamed State, which was her novel, um, which was absolutely fabulous. So yes, I can't wait to get to these. All right, this is a song, a song. That's what the book is called. Um, the Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. And I know Steve Donahue really loves this book. Um, this is a retelling, or this is about Achilles and Pat Patroclus. My um, ancient history is so bad, you guys. Um, but I know this is about their maybe homosexual relationship. So you know I'm all about that. So yeah, that's this one. Um, it won the Orange Prize, which you now is the Bailey's Prize. So that's awesome. That is an awkward way to hold a book. Yes, that's the book. Okay, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, um, this is In the Woods by Tana French. I really want to get started with this series. There's three of them or four of them. Three of them? There are four of them. Um, and I hear really, really great things. This is a thriller... Uh, psychological suspense thriller. So three children leave their small Dublin neighborhood to play in the surrounding woods. Hours later, their mother's calls go unanswered. When the police arrive, they find only one of the children gripping a tree trunk in terror, wearing blood-filled sneakers and unable to recall a single detail of the previous hours. So yeah, um, Rincy uh, read this book and she really loved it. So there we go. 
All right, here's another book that I heard about from Book Riot. This is Long Division. Yeah, so this is, I know this is a book within a book kind of thing. Uh, is this a YA? I don't remember. I just remember that I really wanted to read it. So there you go, Long Division. We're almost there. Um, here's a thriller that just came out this year. This is called The Trap by Melanie Robb. And I will read this because it sounds really cool. Uh, let's see. The renowned author Linda Conrads is famous for more than just her best-selling novels. For over 11 years, she has mystified fans by never setting foot outside her home. Far-fetched, sometimes sinister rumors surround the shut-in writer, but they pale in comparison to the chilling truth. Linda is haunted by the unsolved murder of her younger sister, whom she discovered in a pool of blood 12 years ago, and by the face of the man she saw fleeing the scene. So it's about that. Last but not least is this really cool graphic novel that I saw somewhere. I don't remember what inspired me to pick this up. Um, and it's called Monstrous by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takeda. Ooh, it's got a quote from Neil Gaiman on the front. Um, yeah, set in an alternate world of art deco beauty and steampunk horror. Yeah. Monstrous tells the epic story of Micah Halfwolf, a teenage survivor of a cataclysmic war between humans and their hated enemies, the Arcanics. In the face of oppression and terrible danger, Micah is both hunter and hunted, searching for answers about her mysterious past and those who seek to use her remain just one step behind. And all the while, the monster within begins to awaken. Really awesome stuff. This looks amazing. And this art looks incredible. Like, insane and beautiful. And I've heard really, really, oh my gosh, really, really cool things about this stuff, um, about this book. So yeah, Steve, Steve reads, whatever happened to you, Steve, you're probably not even watching this, but I, he posted on Instagram, I think something about this. Um, so yeah, this seems really, really cool. That's it. That is my August haul. I did it. We did it together. Yes. Um, lovely. So, um, I'm going to go now. Uh, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah, that's it. Please, if you've read any of these books, um, let me know what you think. And um, if you want to read any of these books, let me know. Let's talk about things in the comments. Um, if you're new, please subscribe. And that's it. Yeah, please have a great weekend. And um, if you go to um, some sort of establishment with people working retail, please be really friendly to them because they are working really hard for you. Don't be rude. That's all I ask. Uh, um, so that's it. Please um, be kind, listen to each other, and read some good books. Take care.